Asian nations, or Southeast Asian nations, comes to Manila. The annual event scheduled next month aims to boost economic cooperation between China and ASEAN members, with the Philippines playing a significant role as its host. Now we're joined by attorney Maria Esperanza Banyares, DTI Region 2 Director. Also joining us are some of the exhibitors, Isabella Vice Governor Rodito Albano, Tony Pet Albano, Chris Benson of Dale Mattis Studio Incorporated, Illuminada Calbuya of Cariga Food Treat, and Sunny Lavaya of the Truly National Food Corporation. Good, good morning, thank you very good much morning. for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Vice Gov. I believe that Isabella will have a special place in the Expo for this year. That's true, Ron. No? Uh, Isabella, we were chosen by the Philippines to attend as the province of charm. Mm -hmm. Province of charm dito sa Expo na 10th China ASEAN Expo. This mm -hmm. uh, and this is a really a welcome thing for our province because we're really coming out as the agro-industrial center of the Philippines. Being number one in corn number one in Mongo, second to rise, but we will be number one next to Nueva ICA in two years when we upgrade our... <laughs> <laughs> but what, what does that mean if you're a province of China? In, uh, in this expo, Ron and Paolo, they uh, actually choose among provinces of the ASEAN, including China, which are the province or cities of charm and they will have a pavilion where it's called the provinces and cities of charms, which will highlight what is best in that province or in that country. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so products like these will be uh, also given there, but there's also another booth, a bigger expo booth in other areas where we will now highlight the other products of the Philippines. But specifically for the booths of the province of Charms, we, we are uh, chosen as the uh, representative. Be the <laughs> okay, before we go to the other exhibitors, uh, again, Vice Gov, what are the main products that will be featured by Isabella as a province of well, China? Well, one of the reasons why we're going there is we want to become the agro-industrial center of the Philippines and breadbasket, not only of the Philippines, but we will want to export now our products, our agricultural products that you see here, to the South ASEAN nations and even China, which has the largest market. Mm. Ito pong uh, nan in China, they, they have one of the biggest agro-industrial centers and we are looking forward to becoming partners with them. No? Right. Our governor, Bo Ji Di, uh, who couldn't make it today, uh, was saying uh, that, uh, in fact, they are supposed to uh, uh, create the sisterhood province with Nanning. And Nanning will now help us technologically advanced and make the province of uh, Isabella an mm -hmm. agro-industrial center. So, ituturo po yung mga technologies para yung mga corn namin, rice, mongo, and the products that you see here will be mechanized and will be mass-produced for worldwide consumption. Right, so it's a real exchange. Diba? I mean, we bring something to them, they bring something to us. Right? Exactly. exactly. It's a great exchange. Right, and we also want to highlight that uh, one of the best things in Isabella is our tourism, which is now upcoming because we have beaches that are white sands with waterfalls. Na may kasama kami ng uh, uh, the uh, uh, yung ecological centers yung yung sinasabi namin rainforest which meets the white sides with the waterfall. Right, yeah, great news. Uh, and obviously, we've got quite the, the range of products that, that the, the co-exhibitors are actually going to be uh, uh, exhibiting and, and those who are going to be taking part in the expo. Let's, let's talk about some of the products that we have uh, with us this morning. Uh, take us through what, what, we, what you've brought. Well, uh, we'll be bringing uh, dried fruits mm -hmm. to the exhibit. Uh, we have here uh, dried mangoes and uh, trail mix, tropical fruit, yeah, all produced here in the Philippines. In the Philippines, oh. and the packaging is fantastic, by the way. Look at that. And that, all right. So this is this is uh, something that uh, people who attend the expo uh, obviously will be will be looking at. Uh, are they looking at? You guys are looking at exporting products. Uh, how, how does it all work? Yeah, we're hoping to export it to China mm -hmm. because right now these are available locally. Right. So we also export now to the U.S. but under a different brand. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to start also with ASEAN, ASEAN export to okay. say China, Indonesia. Right, so it's, it's, this, this expo is really all about you know the, the networking aspect, yes. getting people in there yeah. and then sort of really spreading the, the good news on the, yeah. the, the great local products that we have. Yeah. Over in this corner, uh, oh, look at this very interesting uh, rice that we have here. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be exhibiting our Ume rice. Mm -hmm the best rice in the world according to Mary Hensley from Montana, USA. Well, look at that. Yes, sir. And the Unai blend. 
So this is a blend of, of, of different types of uh, different, different varieties. varieties of organic kunai rice. Okay, and look at it, it's very colorful. I like the way that looks, okay? Natural, mm -hmm. natural. This is kunai chapurado, na pag chinapurado mo, no need to put chocolate kasi may chocolate rice yan. Okay, so parang isasahin ko lang siya na medyo malad na, yun lang yun. Okay, fantastic. Okay, good stuff. We've got coffee. Pag pinowder mo ito, ito yung kunai powder. Alright. We've got coffee, we've got uh, other coffee products as well. Uh, Muscovado. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, while you're busy with that, uh, Vice Governor and I had uh, already a bidding war for the, the ICAT exhibit here. Sir, pati kwento naman sa atin dito kayo. Kwento naman sa atin kung kaya iba gumawa rin. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, Del Marte Studio is the one who made this item. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is actually a design, an original design by a young Filipino artist, uh, Alan de la Cruz. Mm -hmm. The title of this uh, piece is Behalf. Behalf? Yes. It tells the story, the intricacies of having a relationship. Really? A marriage. So, uh, the artist is depicting this uh, left side in the the husband. Mm -hmm. On the right side would be the, uh, the wife. She has to tell you what she needs Somebody has got the pen and the... Yes. It's a share of It's depicting real life. It's a great piece of art. And it's truth. So we're talking about the intricacies of the art. All the moving gears. The uh, that we have to constantly work uh, to make the relationship. This is an original. <laughs> this is an original piece by uh, an American artist, Dale Manners. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a story of uh, a battered uh, wife uh, getting out of uh, an unhealthy uh, relationship. So peeking through the keyhole, the mga bata, the children were looking at the situation with the, mm -hmm. the ex-husband. And they finally got out of that relationship. One of those kids, Shang uh, artist they told. So he was taking what he saw growing up. So the title of this piece is uh, Key to Freedom. And it's dedicated to all the women that said in that regard. Okay, these are some, just some of the, the uh, your artworks that are, are going to be exhibited in the uh, uh, Chinese Asia, China That's ASEAN Expo. That's Expo. correct. I believe we're, uh, we're bringing with us uh, six or seven pieces. Give us an idea of how, how much this would cost. Uh, this in the local market, because we're very special, here is 270000 mm, 270000 Yeah. In so this along with, uh, with, with a few other art pieces will be part of the expo. Mm -hmm. That's correct. All right. Okay, see, see, Vice Club then, may dala ka din. Oh, may dala din ng, uh, we have the largest uh, butaka in the world in Ilagan City. Hindi, ito yun. But that is a symbol of what we have there. The butaka? Uh, actually, ito, siguro si yung isang kaibigan niya pwede nga. Pero ito, perfect to uh, run ganyan yan. Oo, ganyan yan, pag-cellular. Ito. Ito mga heartbeat items from uh, Palana ni Isabella, which is the coast, mm -hmm. and you can see it's from indigenous materials. Yeah. At saka may panlabang kami sa best rice niya, meron din kami best rice <laughs> in the world. <laughs> may the best rice <laughs> May the best rice <laughs> May the best rice <laughs> So ito yung mga, mga products namin, but yeah. more, more so, we are really the um, uh, corn capital, mongo capital of the world, mm -hmm. or of the Philippines, and we, uh, we really want to be the number one for all uh, other products. Well, things are certainly going to get better after the exchange uh, with all the provinces taking part, with all the exhibitors and, and uh, our friends from China, yes. who are really all there to, to synergize and uh, trade ideas and networks. So this is going to be held in Hainan, China, so in Nanning. Nanning, sorry, China, Nanning. September 3 to 6. And what we aim to do is to also soften what we are having now with the controversy with China. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. China. That we as uh, people, we're not really here for war, but we're more here to collaborate and to start making our lives for Chinese and the Filipino better. And hopefully, 
by doing that, uh, both our governments will listen to each other and tone down the rhetoric. Yes, and then despite the tension, trade must continue, right? Right, you are, and we've got a great range of products to bring and, and share with them. So good luck, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck again to Kailan Oliens. September, September 3 to 6. September 3 to 6. Delegates. We're actually part of uh, our delegation is around 150 people, including the uh, Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce, which will be joining us. And hopefully our president will lead the delegation. Okay, Vice Hello. Governor Tony Tetalbano and our friends from Dale Mathis Studio, Kalinga Food Treat and Truly Natural Food Tour. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Ever wonder what it's like to live underwater? Well, find out why one brain diver is...